Lift off will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Hey, hey. Can you tell me if you can hear me okay? Because. Everything's reset. It's like terrible. I've been in right trouble with it. <laughs> hey Nikki. Hey Robbie. Yes, you can hear us. Good, good. And you can see the sketch right the screen. Yeah. In fact, oh, hi Bella. Um, I'll just get it so we can see it a bit better. Maybe well. Yeah. And you can see base screens and stuff. So I'm like, mm, gonna have trouble there, I reckon. <laughs> Just a guess. So, there's a couple of things that I want to talk to you about today. Oh, it was loud. Wait there. Um, loud, loud, loud. Uh, this one. How about now? How about now? Keeps oh, this guy's they've updated everything. It's terrible. Although it says drop frames, none. Hmm. I'm trying to think what would the and the sign still picking out. Yeah, turn the game down. I think. They mess with everything they have. Right, that way now. Is that any better? <laughs> it's not picking like anymore. Hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, it's all totally new again since I last streamed so I'm guessing everything will be messed up I'm really sorry is it still buffering? oh it seems ok now, good good hmm, I wonder what that is say so to start again hi Nikki, hi Bobby, hi Bella <laughs> hey Free, you can all hear me now and you can see the sketch work screen here. Now, if you've seen my latest video, you'll know what Sketchworks is. But I was literally going to be like, this is Sketchworks. <laughs> this is how it started. <laughs> so, you might have heard this already. But I'm just going to go through it again. <laughs> so, Sketchworks, what is it? It's a website that's basically going to bring all the tutorials for all the softwares into one space. So, you know, if you wanted Adobe Illustrator, and there was a person that you liked doing Adobe Illustrator, you'd be able to find his tutorials on here. You get what I mean? So it's like, not just me, it's everyone. Or at least I hope it will be eventually. Obviously there's only me on there at the moment. I made this little graphic here and it's like your one stop shop or whatever and it's like click tutorials now you can click this tutorials or you can click the tutorials up there don't matter um, you can do things like log in and register it's all free of charge it's um, kind of like Facebook where you add your picture add your name um, you can do like cover photos and things um, or your social links that kind of stuff but more interestingly if you've read a tutorial it will tell you that you've already read a tutorial do you know what I mean so it's like it saves each bit that you've done already and that that was the, the angle to that one so I'm just going to go into tutorials and just show you the range of all the softwares that there is 
of the not all of them work yet because there's not enough people <laughs> you know I can't do tutorials on every single one that, that was the point of this <laughs> yeah so far it's only me <laughs> and it's not even all the ones I've done is is taking so long so I'll just quickly show you if you click in say Vinny Designer it'll then give you the list of the authors for Vinny Designer or the, the artist for a Vinny Designer at the moment there's only me you can become a featured artist by just emailing us and then you, know, you can do your own tutorials, adverts, whatever you want on here and then you just literally pick your person they say me and then it'll give you all their tutorials that they've done now like I said this is all apart from this top one it's actually all old stuff because I was just putting my PDFs on there so I'll show you what a new one looks like or is gonna look like so we're going to spiral tool and obviously there will be a video it's not been done yet but there's things like the table of contents you can click each one of these to go to that particular part of the tutorial and then it's kind of like the pdf where it tells you like to do this you gotta do this tool you see what I mean and it, it'll go on for it goes into more detail this one than we've ever gone into the pdfs and there's lots and lots of it you can have a little scroll through there in your own time there's quite a bit on the spiral tool it'll then come up with a little bit about the artist obviously it's just me the way um it just gives you who they are what they do and what they're trying to do as being on here um and then it give you their social links to them specifically now frequently asked questions i haven't filled this in yet because I'm thinking like the questions will happen now if you know what I mean like it's pointless putting the old questions on if there's going to be loud new ones and then um, we'll finish it off with things like final thoughts on how did like how it went um, this here is going to be an upcoming thing called the Fox Den now like we go to Telegram there's going to be a Discord called the Fox Den. And at the moment, all you can do is go on to the free chat. Because I haven't done it yet. But I'm just saying, there will be like a li like a link to all the different sections. Um, free, free brushes, free assets and whatever. That kind of thing on there. Um, there's all your links you can share to wherever and then you can write um, a reply to this if you like like a, a comment to the actual um, tutorial I've just put test because that was I just wanted to see if it worked so there's that side of it and I say that is quite a chunk of what it's gonna be like <laughs> Obviously there will be a video etc. I'm just going to get back because I'll show you. So what I've done is with my old tutorials. You'll see now I've just up the. Uh, if I've put literally this old and will be updated. It's a new style. But it's just a copy of the PDF. How I used to do things. So it's literally like step one do this. Step two do this. It's the same kind of thing but less detail. And then there's the video that goes with that particular one, which you can just watch straight on on here. You don't have to go to like YouTube or anything. You can just watch it here. Just uh, pause that, save that music, <laughs> and again you can like share them, comment on them, etc. But they are old; they will be updated. So that is. Um, Sketchworks is going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be a cool little way to do. Now, on this list of softwares, there is one that I've only really just got hold of now. 
and it's one that will be on here. <laughs> and the reason for it is I've um, just got offered the opportunity to like run like a class in real life, if you like. And I'm going to be like teaching other people, just like yourselves, um, via the like an iPad. They'll all have their own iPads. This is an actual like classroom, and I'll be like saying you know the same do this do that and they'll be doing it actually on their iPads but the software is called linearity curve or it used to be called ve um, ve vectornator that was what it used to be called we didn't really like it back then because it didn't do half the stuff that it does now but when I started using it because they wanted something that they could use as it was free now, obviously, there's like a finny designer and whatever, else, but they all cost money. Like, um, Clip Studio Pink, it all costs money. So, the one that doesn't cost money is this one, this um, linearity curve, which now is actually pretty damn good. And you'll see it's very similar to a finny designer. It's a little bit confusing as to how and why they do things because we're so used to a finny designer. But yeah, it's um I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> sorry sorry about that. So yeah, like um I'll show you where it's like oh yeah, it does this, but it does it in this particular way. Which is a bit odd to us because we've not used the Whereas if we picked up the near curve first, a uh, finny would be weird. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> it's only because we're so used to finny. But they do things like um, away trace, things like that. Things that a finny really should have by now. It, it's very clever, I'll show you in a bit. So that was Skeptrix. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. And now I want to introduce you to Josh. And it's like, who's Josh? <laughs> now, I have trouble with my voice, as you know. And when I'm doing the videos, I'm not the clearest person, as you can see. <laughs> so what I've decided to do is get an AI to say things for me. Now, when I think about like AI speech it's very monotoned and not very nice to listen to whereas this one's a little bit different it um <coughs> it, it, you don't you don't like um text and then it, it says it like you literally say it and it says it how you said it yeah it's a bit a bit strange but let me introduce you to josh and you'll see what i mean Hi, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Josh, an AI voice that's going to help out Teak as he suffers with his voice. So that's Josh. And as you can see, it's got all the, like, uh, up and down emotionals. Um, that kind of, <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> that was just a random picture off of the internet. I think it was off of um, Pixabay. The link's in the description as to who did it. It was just um, an AI sort of like, you know, picture that I just came up with. Just like looking around online. But yeah, that, that particular voice, you'll hear it quite a lot. But it is, it's, it's basically me talking, but he talks. It, it's going to be a bit, a bit odd to get used to. I couldn't believe it was literally like, as I'm talking, but what you hear is Josh talking. Yeah, it's like the craziest thing. Um, the actual software is by this company called Eleven Labs. And some of the stuff they do is like, wow. <laughs> like, if you wanted, I don't know, to have Eminem's voice or something like that, you, you could literally, like, as you talk, it'll talk like that famous person. It is crazy what they do. <laughs> I could even have it sounded like myself. Because you can teach it to sound like you. 
but obviously that wouldn't be that would be beside the point <laughs> I want it to be more clear etc for you guys so it was be more easier to understand I'm just gonna run him again so you can get used to his voice hi I would like to introduce myself I'm Josh an AI voice that's going to help out Teak as he suffers with his voice so that is Josh. That was another thing. So Sketchworks and Josh. And obviously I went through all the multiple softwares that we're gonna be doing. Which I'll show you again. So there is all sorts of softwares as you can see. I'm not gonna be doing all these softwares as such, because that's what I'm hoping the people who are experts in that field will write on Sketchworks what they do. Do you know what I mean? Like, give you other people to follow, etc. Like, if someone's really good at a finishy publisher, for example, then they could write about a finishy, like, give all the tutorials for a publisher, etc. And we appreciate all that, yeah. It's only because I was thinking of doing all these softwares myself, and I was like, that is a lot to take in for one person. And I was like, actually, you could get people who are actual experts in each one of these softwares to write the tutorials for us. And we could all learn together. I was like, well, that's a, such a good idea. Like things like ZBrush and stuff. It's just it's like Substance Painter. It'll be like way out of my league. <laughs> but for other people that might be an easy thing that they can teach others so that was what this came about as so yeah hopefully that takes off quite nicely and now I'll get into the other software that it came here today for and that is Linear Curve so like I say this is a free app on the App Store. Unfortunately it's only Mac OS, um, iPad OS and not iOS at the moment. But it has got some really nice features to it. But I just want to show you how close it is to Affinity Designer in some ways. So on Affinity Designer you get a page like this with all your, it'll be like all your drawings across there. Um, obviously there's nothing there because I haven't done anything yet in it. But it gives you um, some samples to go off if you wanted to. Or you can just start a new document, which is what we're going to do now. So when you start a new document on Affinity, it gives you this kind of like um, selection of pre-done sizes, if you like. And it's exactly the same here. And you can swap it between portraits or um, landscapes, etc. So today we're just going to stick with you know, this old Ultra 4 HD 4K. So then this is the actual interface itself. Now it looks dead scary, but it's not really. When you think how Affinity works, this is pretty much how this works. So you can do all the, the finger gestures that we used to. And then there's other stuff that we're very used to. Things like pen tool. So you, you literally just, you know, do pen tool stuff. Just like that. However, when you go to no tool, there's little things that it does slightly different to Affinity. So on, on the Affinity, we can just pull that line now and make it into a curve, yeah? But if you tap that line, it will make another node. And it'll be a, a, a corner node, like um, a sharp node like that. And that's not what we want. And I can't see anywhere on there of how to change it into um, like a, a, a corner node, a not corner node, a, a curve, yeah. And it was bugging me and bugging me. And I just can work out. <laughs> and then I realised up here. There's something called style. And this is literally like. Like your new tool gives you all these options. Right on the screen. 
this gives you all in here for some reason. So if you wanted um, a curve, you can go to there. If you wanted it back to sharp, you can go to there. And these are all various things like smart curves and stuff. And also, um, I, I think a Vinny does this, but I never use it on there. So we drawed that, and now we want to go back to home, yeah. So if we just select both nodes, feel let me. Oh, that's just leaning. No, it's still home. <laughs> I don't want that third node in there. Yeah, let's move it. Slightly out of the way of the other one. <laughs> okay. Now we've got those two nodes selected. We can go to this um, button here. And this will actually join them to make it the shape. Just like you used to on Affinity. So this will make shapes as well, just like Affinity. And then you can like do your your fill and your stroke, etc. So if you wanted to change the the width of the stroke, yeah. So it's kind of like the same but different. Um, the color is like there instead of up on the right. So we just change the colors to whatever color you want. Um. Things down that way. So, and then the other thing I was thinking of is on Affinity you can change pressure, yeah? Where do you do that on here? I can't see it anywhere. And then I found this thing down here called Type. And you can actually turn it into a brush. Now, can you see the pressure's already um, been applied there? So you can apply the various pressures. Mm. Now on Affinity you can just make your own pressure, can't you? So that was another thing I was looking for. I was like, how do we change it? So I find these three dots here. And it says contour, but it, on our one it's like pressure. But can you see it just the... Um, the width of the streak on that particular part of the curve, just like Affinity yeah. does on the pressure. Mm -hmm. And you can add extra nodes, etc. Or you can just tap and delete it. It's kind of like the same, but different. It Yeah, it's a, it takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> it's like, they like, say you wanted to... Yeah, let's come back out of there. A couple of different ways you can do this. So you can go up here to plus instead and then import. And then you can go to a photo and just import your photos like that. Alternatively, you know, like um, we got place, haven't we? Just make a new document, make it 4K again. So yeah, we got place, haven't we? And, um, Affinity. Yeah. So in this one, you go up to this plus up here mm -hmm. and go down to photos mm -hmm. and then pick your photo mm -hmm. and just drag it in mm -hmm. like so. Mm -hmm. Oh my cat and I <gasps> um I'm just trying I don't know how to fix that <laughs> damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's different, but it's not, like, massively difficult. It's just, why is that in that place? But then, again, if we had this software first, we'd be like, why isn't it in that place on Affinity? It, it's like, it does all the same things, but just differently. I'll get rid of that one, and I'll show you the other way now. So, come to the plus here. And import a photo instead, and then we just pick that one and it imports. Now, for the very cool bit about this program, 
So, just like Affinity, you've got the layers panel here, yeah, it's just up here on the sun. So there's all your layers. So I'll just choose that sketch layer. And I'm going to go into the style, this one. And there's something called Auto Trace. Now I'm going to put it on high level detail because it is quite, quite high level detail. And I'm just going to press Auto Trace. And as you can see, it's exactly the same as it was. <laughs> but if you go up to the layers panel now and go into the group, you'll see that each section has its own layer now. I was blown away by this. I was like, how cool is that? Literally took seconds. <laughs> <coughs> something that would have took quite a while in um, Affinity to redraw over that with the strokes and things to get this to work whereas the um, Away Trace just went bang it's done and that's it now there is downfalls to Away Trace and that is that it can only do simple things and it can only do like non um, oh, what's the word for it? Like, if you had shading on it, it won't work. I'll show you an example now. I'll just delete that one again. And we're going to import another photo. This little max here. Now, what we got is one that is non shaded and one that is shaded. As you can see. And we're going to attempt to auto trace these two now. So I'm going to go back into our layers panel and select our sketch layer, which is this one. For some reason, it causes it the sketch layer, now I don't know why. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go into style and put it on high again and auto trace it. You'll see that this one actually works as too detailed, but you'll see that, that one is a lot better than the one that's um, shaded. So if I were to trace these now, can you see it's not quite worked, but it doesn't know what to do with the shading, like around the eyes and things. It's a little bit, um, like it puts in extra details when you don't need it. Because it's trying to work out what's going on with the shading. This one's slightly better, but not not perfect. Not usable, shall we say. <laughs> now, one is that that is too much detail for the AI. And two, it's not big enough. I know it sounds weird. But I'll show you an example now. So I'll just delete that one. And import just the head now, and it's on a canvas that is like ridiculously massive. <laughs> so, yeah, something like six thousand by six thousand or something. It's like crazy big, <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> Dogs made it on there. <laughs> So I'm going to do exactly the same, go into this, well it's called image now, that's unusual, it's normally sketch for some reason. So anyways, selecting this layer that we just brought in, go into style panel, and I select eye again, and I'll make trace. And can you see it's done a lot better job now, it's still not perfect, perfect. But it has done a lot better job of copying because it was that bigger size and less details. It it makes a difference. <laughs> but I'm just blown away by how good it actually is. If you know what I mean, like if you got um. like a logo for a business it would do that no problem but if you got i don't know a picture of a dog or something it wouldn't do it 
far too much detail. But like this here, it's like a, a mascot for like a basketball team or something. And I'll show you again. So I'm into the sketch layer, which is this one. And can you see you can't like, drop down or anything? It's just the PNG. It's just that one. Right here. Then you go to the um, style, put it on high, and away you trace it. And bang, in two seconds it's done. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> then you go into the layers panel again, and you've now got a drop down, and you have access to basically every layer that there is. As it's redone it in seconds. <laughs> Something that would have taken quite a while in Affinity. So I'm blown away by how easy some of it is. But you'll see there's little things like Affinity uses their colour panel up here. Whereas this one's colour panel is like down here. But it's the same kind of thing where you get the fail and the streak. <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah, I was blown away by it. I was just like, oh my god. Especially how clear it actually is when you, when you take take a layer away like this. You could change the colour on it, do whatever you want. But yeah, like how it just it knows every single little bit. <laughs> and then you just put it all into separate layers. <laughs> Very cool. The other thing with this programme which is quite cool, is that it accepts AI files. That's something that Affinity doesn't do. Um, does it accept? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually checked that. But yeah, so we go there and we go to the nodes. Yeah, so we can adjust the nodes. Just like you would do normally. Very cool. Obviously the back, back buttons and redo buttons. It's like everything's pretty much the same. But it's just in a different place. I'm just um, wondering what that noise was. I think it's because I left Telegram on. So I'm so not used to this. <laughs> it's been a while. And I've been like pretty ill over the, over the holidays as you know and still not 100 but i just couldn't wait any longer i was like god do it today <laughs> so much to talk about i was looking at some of the demo pictures it looks like it can handle a lot of layers absolutely yeah uh, so i think it's um I would say not quite infinite, but yeah, like Affinity, kind of infinite, <laughs> like quite a few. <laughs> but I'm just blown away by how quickly you did that. Hey, Rene, Rene, you gotta see this because <laughs> it is just gonna blow your mind. I'll delete it and redo it. So, this is something called linearity curve or something like that. It's just curve when you get it on the iPad or whatever. So you go up to this plus and import. And then you can import off your photos. And I just got this little mascot. I don't know whether there's a basketball team or something. But as you can see, if you go into the layers panel up here, it is just what they call it a sketch layer. There's no like drop down or anything. So it's just a PNG for like the tree on or off, you know, it's just, just that layer. Then with it selected, I can go up to here and go into style. And then it's got this auto trace feature. You go to high and go to auto trace. And within seconds, it's already done. 
I know it doesn't look like it's changed anything, but what you'll find, so when you go into layers now, there will be this little drop down. And as you can see, it split that picture up into all the layers that made up that particular picture. <laughs> and just blown away by how good this is. If you go into their version of the new tool, and just select that layer. You can like adjust all the names just like you would do in Affinity. <laughs> Affinity so you needs this feature. <laughs> then you go back just like you would do with Affinity. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, Affinity really needs to get this. And it, it can do things like like erase backgrounds automatically and it's got like AI built into it. I haven't actually played with it yet. But I was just shocked at how much it's like like affinity. Um, I didn't think my name was here wrong showing this. But let's go into a new document. Ultra H D. Yeah, so you got things like the pen tool. I mean, just like you would do on Affinity. It's the same thing. And you can go into the nodes and adjust them. Just like you would. And then if you want to change that to... What was that? Will this have... No, it's, it's completely free. Unbelievably, it's completely free. Or at least the bit that I'm using of it is free. <laughs> it has got um, paid things, but that's like for stupid things like up to 8k stuff like that. And that is the only downfall is only for Apple. But that's no problem for you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the, the reason why I've got to start looking at it is because... Um, they've given me the opportunity to have my own class in real life. Um, you know, teaching people basically how to do vector and things. <laughs> and the only um, thing was they had to be a free software. Um, which is why I find, well, well I find this one. <laughs> I'm just blown away by how good it actually is. <laughs> But yeah, like, um, so you wanted that, that particular node to be, um, smarter than me, I think they got on a finny. <laughs> you just go into the style panel here, and you can change it to curve, and then you just adjust the handles like you normally would. Just like this. So you can do it just like you normally would. They got things like, uh, like sheep builder, <laughs> that thing. Um, I mean sheeps. They have got sheep builder as well, but I haven't played with it yet. So to make a sheep, and I see we make a circle, and you know, like um, you press one finger down, and it goes to a perfect circle. It's like everything is pretty much the same as Affinity. <laughs> And then you can adjust things like the fill and the stroke and what colour are they going to be. I'll just um, put the stroke to say black. You can like change the width just like you could in a finney. Oh, Bella! Another thing. <laughs> So you see that little green dot down there? That is actually scale with object. <laughs> Which is just like like you can on Affinity kind of thing. But a lot easier. So you don't have to go into a menu and select anything. You just hold down the green dot and move so oh, I can't do it. I'm too far away. <laughs> Let me go back into select that particular object. Why does it keep going away? 
onto slate. Yeah, can you see it scales with the object? So to give an example of it not scaling with the object, I'll just grab this one. And can you see it messes up just like it would be on a finny? But if you grab the green dot, it will scale with the object. I'll just um, make it massive. And scale it with down so that it's normal. Very cool. Yeah, I, I was like, that is so much better than having to remember to put on scale with object to each item and stuff. You just grab the whole picture and just scale it <laughs> with the green dot. Much easier. <laughs> and it's like, ah, uh -huh. so many little cool things that I find. So they've got things like the knife tool, but it's like the scissor tool. Um, the vector brush, but it's like a little pink brush on here. Um, that is the um, shape builder, but I haven't played with it yet. But yeah, everything that you can do on Affinity, you can pretty much do here. <laughs> Except for, you can do extras like auto trace and stuff. And I think if you get like a picture and you want to cut something out, it does it all by AI and stuff. <laughs> so I haven't looked at it yet, but it does seem pretty, pretty mad, this thing. The arrange works better as well. I was playing with that. I'm just thinking what I'll take a she. I've had a tiny little play, but not massively. And that, like, you know, um, I think you just hold down the the question mark and it tells you what each tool does. So if you just press the um, question mark it comes up with all these things by like guides and tutorials. But if you just go into help mode, everything will light up yellow. Now if you just tap something, it'll tell you what it does. <laughs> like what it's meant to do. And then just tap the question mark again, it'll turn off. Or it did. <laughs> Typical now, it's not doing it. That is strange. I'm pretty sure I just pressed it and it went away. Or did you just tap the screen? Ah, tap, I almost tap the screen at the same time. <laughs> what did you tap at first? For which bit? Which bit? You say it now. I don't. Which one? <laughs> Oh, yeah, the menu. Yeah, so this little question mark, and it will literally give you like user guides, tutorials, etc. Like how to do the shortcuts. Like, um, you can get access to like their um, forums and stuff. But if you literally press help, it will light everything up and then tell you what each bit does, <laughs> which is dead handy. Yeah, I was shocked by the little things that you could do. I'll <laughs> just delete these again now. <laughs> oh, actually, I just thought we should try, try changing the colour of that fox. I'm just going to import it again. And then select the layer and go into high detail and we trace it and it's done. And now I will try that orange piece right there. And I'll select it and I'll change the style up. Yeah, you can you can do it either way. It's a bit like a finney. 
So I could go into style and change it there. Or it looks like I can just change it there. Either way. But yeah, let's change the colour. Yeah, just like that. That is like well cool. Very interesting. Like gradient, like the filter. <laughs> it just does everything like kind of the same but different. <laughs> Like, when you drop an item within an item, you can just press um, mask and on the item. It's it's kind of like, it does that. Yeah, it's, it's like, you want me to do a gradient? Okay. So yeah, a bit like you do in Affinity with the gradient here and here. And then you just pick which colours you want. So you can see this one. I love it pink. Well, I think it works like that. I'm not so sure. I think that's how we want the shine to be. Can you add more? You can. So if I wanted that one. In particular, a blue colour. And then this one here, a red colour. Yeah. So it does work the way I was thinking it does. Pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, you can do the various types of like um, gradient. Whether you want it like radial. Or whether you want it... Then here, just like you can on Finney, whether you want to get rid of the fill altogether, whether you want to give it a streak. For some reason, it was defaults to blue. You'd think it would default to black, but it's got to be different. <laughs> and then you can change the width of that streak. And then you can see it getting darker there. Very cool. So the other thing that I was just thinking of, I'm just gonna go back and create a new document because I just remember something else. So if we go into pen tool and just make a line, make it black, and I'll make it. Um, I want to make it quite thick at the end you can change that too um, I'm trying to find where it was it was like change the caps or whatever and was it in there oh yeah caps so I want it round caps or square caps <laughs> like what they call but a cap <laughs> right, right at the end so yeah, there's that side of it. But you know, I can affinity. You can say expand stroke, and you can have that stroke. But as a fill, as such. So there's something here called outline, and that is their version of expand streak. <laughs> so it's kind of like the same, but not. And then you can change the fill to whatever color you want. etc. <laughs> Change the news. As you can tell it's definitely a shape now. The other thing that is quite nice I just noticed and that is can you see it's even doing the bit over here and on affinity it's called like winding or something then you have to like put it on but on here it looks like it's on by default which is quite nice and just looking at what else 
Very cool software, I like it. Yeah, everything's in that style panel. <laughs> That's what I was saying, it's uh Oh better, thank you so much. Very cool of you. But yeah, it's um like it like literally everything is there. If you want to like, adjust the opacity it's in that panel. Um do you wanna like put up the blur? You know what I mean? Change the blend but you can know, not see it because it's on there. I'll just have to make a shape in there. Change the colour. Um so you get it. We'll change the layer so it's on top. Yeah, see. So, say so we wanted that layer to have I don't know, multiply on it. You can just change all the blend mates here. So there's your multiply. What's that? <laughs> What brush would you use for sketching? Good point. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't actually done it. Um, let me see. So this is the pencil tool. Um, brushes, brushes, brushes. It's so hard to find where things are in this program. It's like... Um, it's just like Finney, but not. Um, I can't find where the brushes are. <laughs> Typical. What does it do if you just draw with that style? Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking around for a brush pan. You would think. It would be dead easy, but it's not. <laughs> this is the problem. It's like, where is everything? <laughs> so I'm guessing this will be the size of the brush. No. Maybe not. <laughs> or is that the... The nade stubbly. Hmm, don't know. Can't tell. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can't answer your question, Bobby. I didn't actually know. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I'd have to look into it a bit more. <laughs> I don't actually know. Then this one. Oh, that's that kind of brush. Mm. The size. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do know by sketching. <laughs> if it's just that size, it's not good to anyone. Or do I change the width in here? Uh huh. Mm, it's working nicely. <laughs> I'm looking for brushes. <laughs> I'm really, really trying. So, like, where's the brush? Brush, brush, brush. Hmm. <laughs> Chikaze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're worth millions. <laughs> I can't believe I can't find brushes. It must be here somewhere. I'm just struggling to find it. <laughs> Do you can't see. I bet there's just some little silly menu that I'm just not looking at. It's 
to like what kind of pressure do you want? <laughs> Do you want it to be like cartoony? But it's not brush brushes. It's hmm. Type brush. Now smooth them. Doesn't seem to do anything. Well, I suppose it does a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have, have a real play with them <laughs> to find that. <laughs> Where's the brushes? What's in here? <laughs> no, <laughs> not so. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Very strange. Can't see anything, can you? Let's see where, where the brushes are. <laughs> I would have thought it would be in there somewhere. But this is not. <laughs> There's. Like symbols and things. I just can't blame brushes. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's <laughs> like crazy. Simplest thing. I just can't blame that. Nope. <laughs> Very strange. You would think that would be a really easy thing. <laughs> You ain't like double tough it or something. There are more. <laughs> Join tools. Pen tool now. Hmm, finish the path. This little pen tool stuff. Pencil tool, here we go. How do we change the brush? Hmm. Pencil smoothness now. I to create shapes for that. Then brush tool. I didn't see anything about brushes on here, do you? Hmm. Okay. Brush tool. How do you get the brushes on brush tool? Changing the streak width. Rectangle over star. Let's see where it says by. Or press W on your keyboard. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, that's really silly. You find it then? <laughs> it's gotta be here. At the bottom panel. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. It's the bottom panel. Of this one. I can solve it to brush type, but not actual brushes. Where are you seeing this, Nikki? <laughs> no worries. I struggled to vector with like, a sketch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, like, just copy. <laughs> it's like the simplest thing. <laughs> I just can't find it. Just copy. Mm, I wish I could see. <laughs> I just can. And now you look, fella. Oh, yeah. Let's try looking at 
a Navy Digital Listen to Me User Guide. No. No. Image replacement. See, but remove background images and stuff. It's all like the AI tools that I haven't used yet. And it's got all these type of things. It's got to have a little like brush panel somewhere. <laughs> Pen tool, brush tool, or oh, a tray background removal. Um. Try brush tool I'm looking for pencil tool. <laughs> if this can just point me in the right direction. Paint dynamic batch perhaps. Do first adjust the air. Yeah, yeah. Where's the <laughs> the brushes? Harden in the air, curse brushes, brush sensitive. <laughs> yes. But do you actually change the, uh, Yeah, can I create a custom brush? The near curve offers an extensive selection of brushes. It also empowers you to design your very own with the brush editor. I didn't see any of that. <laughs> Where? <laughs> So it must be there somewhere. <laughs> no, I can't close that thing. How do I change the brush shape? Uh huh. I wonder if they just call it something different. <laughs> At the top of the brush editor, you'll see a preview one of your brush's shape. Oh, up here. No. <laughs> and now we go over to that blue thing. Damn it. Or did he mean this? Hmm. I am not sure what they mean. It must be here. <laughs> At the bottom, you select some of the presets. Select brush and what one down here. These things. I just thought that was pressure, not actual brushes, because <laughs> it's kind of like the same brush, just with different pressure. Not like I was thinking. Just that type. That type. And just the box standard. Hmm. Click the hamburger. This one. Yeah. So you, you got to literally adjust it. Oh, shape. Uh huh. Oh, weird. So you literally can sort of like make it. You want to make it. So let's try it on. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not sure. Angle. Very nice angle. <laughs> Are you sure this is the only way? <laughs> that just seems crazy. Why this one? No. 
So you've literally got to make the brush every time that you want to use it. That doesn't seem right to me. I guess it is. But that doesn't answer how we sketch on it. <laughs> We go to the pencil. We just get the standard. Hmm. Let me change that width right now. Yeah, I guess you just sketch with this, but it's kind of like a pen tool. Yeah, I'm guessing. You just sketch like this. Me, I'm um, curl it up and <laughs> that's getting ridiculous. Just gonna delete these ones. And go back into a clean beige now. So yeah, um <laughs> Where's pen and pencil? It changes everything back. So it's black. Um, what do I do? The width was about five on it. Yeah, so I'm guessing. <laughs> it just seems wrong to me, but okay. Oh, boy, it keeps coming off the pencil tool as well, so I don't win. <laughs> I wonder if adjusting the, pa the opacity will look better. Of. Hmm. I think you can get away with that, can you? I hate this. On um affinity there's a function where it's like you only draw with the pen and not your finger. And I'm struggling to find that. It's really annoying me. So yeah, I guess you draw like that. And then you ink over the top with the brush or something. I don't know, or the pencil. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, do we have lines in these things? Yes. That's crazy, you know? It's because it's purely vector, not raster. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So like, there is no pixel mode. I guess that's where Affinity is different. Little pixel mode. <laughs> Anyways, I've taken up far too much of your time. I best go. But thank you all for coming. And have a long play with this. <laughs> See if I can find anything else for next time. <laughs> but like I said, I won't be just using this. I will be using Affinity and Blender and whatever we want. Because <laughs> there is tons of softwares out there. But yeah, I was quite shocked by this one today. But it is going to take a bit of getting used to. <laughs> there is a lot to it. But yeah, thanks very much for coming, and I'll see you in the next one.